you said you experienced depression, some form of depression or depression, depressive feelings and sadness in prison. What, what were the thoughts that were coming up? What, what was happening? Well, there's you? a lot of uncertainty, which is the first thing which that I- That has to be scary. It is scary. It's scary. And also because you're a man who's totally in control of your world, of your life. And right. that's almost like an imperative for you. Right. And that gives you power. And all of a sudden you're thrust into a situation where you're essentially helpless. Well, you just nailed it. You, you completely nailed it because I was exactly about to say it's the uncertainty that I struggle with the most because in my life I'm in charge of everything. I know exactly how everything works and I'm the boss and I get to control absolutely everything. And this is the first time in a long time I'm in a scenario where I have no power whatsoever, yeah. no influence, basically. Uh -huh. I don't know what's gonna happen. Nobody else knows what's gonna happen. And also in my world, view, in my world I'm the hero, right? I'm the head of the clan. Not just my family, right. but of a lot of people. A lot of people rely on me. Lots of women rely on me, children rely on me, etc. So everyone comes to me every time there's a problem. So they continue to do that while I'm in a jail cell, expecting me to have some kind of answer. Right. And I'm like, well, I don't have an answer this time. Every other time I had an answer, but this time is a bit unique. How did that feel? You don't have the answers. You can't help. Yeah, I mean, it was frustrating. It's very frustrating and it's the uncertainty that would bother me. I don't think I felt sad very often, but I certainly felt extremely frustrated. Mm. I would sit there and think, there has to be a way out of this room. Not breakout, but like there must just be some words I can say, someone I can talk to. There must be a way. It's only a door. Like there, I can't just be stuck in this room. And it, it, was, it was hyper frustrating. Yeah, and it, the uncertainty of it is also scary because in my situation, every 30 days they decide if they hold you longer or not. And I was encountering people who had been in there for years.